Could a church collapse have been prevented? That's the question many are asking in South City. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Savard. I'm Courtney Bryant. A woman who lives near the church claims the city dropped the ball. The property sits just off 44 in South Jefferson. That woman says the public safety was put at risk by the city not demolishing it. News Force Kim St. Ange is getting to the bottom of who is at fault. This woman says the city has known for months this church right here was a threat to public safety. She says the city had a long time to deal with it before it collapsed and she's frustrated and says she wants the city to own up. The building didn't have a chance and neither did we. And now Joanne Spencer says she's paying for it big time. My car was parked where this whole pile of bricks are, are at right here. The car she used to drive Uber was totaled when this happened. Spencer plans to sue the city and church for the damage. They had an obligation and responsibility to tear this building down, and they didn't. Documents News 4 obtained show the city first condemned the building May 13th and gave the church 10 days to make repairs, tear it down, or file an appeal. Otherwise, the city could demolish it. The pastor says he couldn't afford that, so he did nothing. The city didn't show back up until July and condemned it again. These pictures from July 11th show just how bad the situation was getting, with one wall crumbling and the ceiling caving. Nine days later, the church collapsed on its own. There's just no way this is the city's responsibility. St. Louis City's building commissioner, Frank Oswald, says that's because the property was privately owned by the church. It's one of roughly 4,000 condemned buildings in the city. Oswald tells me there isn't enough money in the budget to demolish all of them, so the city ranks the properties. We do try to base our demolition decisions based on real criteria as far as the condition, you know, how bad the condition of the building is, its location, you know, adjacent to schools, you know, that type of thing. Spencer calls that an excuse. You're jeopardizing people's lives. The city came out and demoed some of this church, but look at this. There's still a lot more work to do, including clearing away some of these bricks that are still lying on Accomack Street. I asked the city, how long is this going to take to get all of this cleaned up? They're telling me it looks like it'll be 60 to 90 days. Live in the Fox Park neighborhood, Kim St. Ange, News 4.